Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel. My name is Nikita Antoine and I am the Oracle of Natiru. Uh, so I've done your reading with my blended deck of Threads of Fate, Oracle, and Tarot. Uh, so you'll be seeing both of those in your spread today. So on um, when I was meditating on your energy, a black widow came to mind very strongly. And what I was drawn to the most was uh, that hourglass shape that's on the um, anthrax. Anthrax? Is that what it's called? You know, the butt. It's on the butt of the spider. So I was drawn to that, uh, that shape. And the message that I was uh, getting from that was, only time will tell. And so it's like I was seeing this black widow stitching together her um, web and then sitting back on the beauty that she had created and just waiting, like watching and waiting and diligently sitting silent and beckoning forth something. Um, and <laughs> that is also very clear and evident in your reading as well because at the uh, the bottom of the deck, the underlining, we're coming out with the um, Ten of Wands, which this is, it's not, it's not the traditional um, because I go based off of imagery. This is my card for something sticky. And then it has all of these points, right, that make me, it, it, it's like all the points in which, like, the web is built, like, whatever the web is attached to, right? So it's coming through very strongly as a web. And then you're showing up in the reading, starting off with the Sovereign of Swords and the Nine of Coins. And this was confirming for me what I had witnessed in the vision of, of this web, right, that is being built by you in a very uh, diligent and methodical, like, it's, it's a very intellectual, like, it's like, It's like even like the angles of everything is mapped out perfectly. Like everything is very, uh, I mean, it, it just feels like, how do I explain this? It's like everything is in the right place. And everything that you've done is very diligent and it's like you are quick at work in building this web it, it, it feels okay so it feels very fast especially with the chariot card but it also feels like all the steps that are being taken are intellectually like processed out before it's done it almost feels like you've done this before so it's like effortless but when it's finished and created, like all the all the points are in the exact in the exact spot they should be, all the angles like match up together. It's it's very like even. And like I wanna say symmetrical as well. Like if you were to if you were to take your web and fold it in half, like everything would line up. It feels very pristine. And then with this, with the Nine of Coins and the Chariot card, I was getting this imagery of like a tunnel, like beckoning forth something through a tunnel. And like, it's like, it's very, okay. So it's followed with, by the, by the, um, by the Sovereign of Wands, 
and I'm, I'm matching it with the with the Sovereign of Swords because this feels like both of your energy, especially because we're you're oh, sorry creating right with this robust energy that the uh, the dynamic the dynamicness of this web you're creating that with the Sovereign of Wands energy, but it also feels very alluring. <laughs> in this like, how do I explain this? I want to say like in this like cold, methodical type of way. It's not, it's not, what I do want to say is not coming out as like manipulative at all. It's just a very um, focused and like intention based and willpower based like pulling in, drawing in something, like tantalizing is what it wants to be, tantalizing. But it's got that like fierce gaze that it's that whatever like looks at you is going to come right through this tunnel. Because in this chariot card, hopefully you can see in the background of the card, there it's like a, it's like a corridor. And it's like, whatever you fix your gaze on is coming right your way. And um, in between the chariot, so your reading kind of wants to jump a little bit, <laughs> like a spider, duh. <laughs> um, and with, with the um, Sovereign of Wands, you have paired with it the underworld and it's again it's that it feels like very like seductive you know what it feels like like a siren that's what it feels like like a siren especially because it's coming with after that is coming with the um with the judgment card which has this beckoning, calling type of energy. Sometimes I see it as, as like calling out or like sending out a call, but this is, this is like, it's you're sitting and, the, and it's being drawn towards you. And with the Underworld card, let's keep everything in order, <laughs> order. It's like you've caught something. You've caught something and you can feel the vibration. This this feels like a, a the, this this card, the uh, judgment, it feels like a like a subtle vibration in your web that has started to reverberate throughout like, you know, the 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 threads. And it's like you know, you've caught something. See, even up here, you've caught something. So in the um, next set of cards, hang on, I'm, I'm being told to go back. Okay. So when I was mentioning that you've caught something, in this judgment card up here is the is nature, right? I have another card in this deck in which this um, line art plays a f um, sorry that was wiped um, it's so uh, I see this as um, sight between realms of nature. It's kind of like seeing elementals is what I want to say so it's like being able to see beyond, like multi-dimensional layers when you look out into nature. And it feels very strongly like elementals to me. If you have set a web to catch some elementals... <laughs> what? Teach me how to do that. No, I have a really good relationship with, with... Not that you don't have a really good relationship with elementals. Or maybe you're trying to, like, catch, like, fairies or something. And, like, get a sighting.
but you're sitting back and you're waiting. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, it's followed by the strength card. And this is, this is going to be a little abstract, so you, like, bear with me. Um, in this oak leaf here, I saw a dragon's face come forth and we had a conversation. And the dragon is talking about having a connection with like metaphysical arts. So like the shamanic arts or um, some type of, you know, something that's not I was going to say basic, but that's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's not that metaphysical stuff is like way cool. I mean, it is, but it's not that it isn't like, you know, what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say. But um, it's, it's coming through with something very ancient. And it's like you have a connection to the to that ancient um, metaphysical like arts. And since we were just talking about elementals in this dragon like mythical beasts and I was speaking of sirens right it's like you have a connection to like miss like mi mi it just wants to be mystic mystic is what wants to wants to be said here and it's talking about the strength in your connection as well with that So now this is where it gets like a little, it wasn't, it, it wasn't fully coming into my grasp. So I'm going to, I'm going to try and see if I can pull more out because this is, it's a very interesting, it's almost like the tables have turned in a sense, because what I was seeing here with the Five of Cups and the Dolph and not Dolphins, uh, the play card. I mean, they're Dolphins, but what I was seeing here is like, um, it's like how animals are like trapped in a zoo. I was seeing like dolphins or like, you know, like whales um, being trapped in this like pool, you know, it's basically like a pool and it like ugh, the only way to combat, combat their boredom is to just keep going around in circles. And let's just, let's just go around the circle one more time. How about we go around the other way? Maybe that'll be a little different. And it just feels very like, it feels bored. It feels very like boring. Like, it's not stimulating. Like, I, I always see this dolphin as very, it's a very playful and stimulating energy. But paired with the Five of Cups, it was coming at, across, um, not in the traditional way of Five of Cups, like grief and sadness. Well, I mean, I guess if you're, you know, locked away in this <laughs> pool, then especially if you are um, a creature like the dolphin who has such a keen awareness, like, yeah, I guess that would cause a lot of grief and sadness and boredom and just like wanting to just That's just how it feels. It just wants to be like emotion um, But it's like With the with the dare to dream card after coming after the those two sets it's like it's like what's being trapped is your um it's your gifts right we were talking about um your connection to nature spirits i don't want, it wants to be elementals it wasn't elementals before but i guess now it's going it's going to be elementals um, it's like, 
you know what it is? It's kind of like if you sit back and wait for magic to like appear, it doesn't appear. But then if you just go about your day, like, you know, just, no, you know, just like going, walking on a trail or something. And then all of a sudden it's like, here it is. But it's like sitting and waiting and like, kind of like making a, tr making a trap for a sighting is not the way to, to see it is what's coming across. It's like that trap is actually preventing you from seeing fully because it's closing down your perception of what can be seen. So it's like your gift is being like locked away in a sense. It's being locked away in a sense by this sticky, right? By that sticky um, energy that kind of wants to keep keep it like locked. Because that, that type of energy is so expansive and expressive that it like, it can't be um, like coalesced into one thing because it's so much more than that. So, we're coming, you're coming next with, with the Wheel of Fortune. And this came through so interesting. I've never seen it like this before. But, so you've caught something, right, in your web. And it's like, you're about to go and look and see what it is, right? You're, you're coming around that, the bend of your like pool that you're, that you're in, right? With your, with your dolphin energy, like excited to um, find out what you've caught. And hopefully this, I need to figure out a way that you guys can see these images more clearly. Okay, maybe if I stop moving. Okay, there we go. Alright, so you see around the Uberus, I don't want to move. There's this like punch. It wanted to be a punch card. Like, you know, like if, if this is dotted up and it can like punch through. So it's like whatever you caught in your web has like escaped it's punched through the web and then with with the dare to dream card it's like it's kind of like your it's like your gift your gifts are punching through the web that that you have created and like now in this perfect web of yours there is this hole this like gaping hole. And what I was seeing that came shortly thereafter, this gaping hole, is kind of like, I know this is like in like movies or whatever, but when like the, why do I want to say the assassin? Okay, yeah, like a Black Widow assassin, right? It's like when they use that tool, like the diamond to like, etch out glass and then like push it through so they can like escape um like the perpetrators or whatever what have you you know what I mean and so that's what I was seeing it's like it's like whatever you've caught is is, is trying is is it is escaping it is escaping <laughs> yeah because I don't think it's trying to escape it's like oh hell I've gotten caught in this web let me do a quick dash and escape before the widow comes in, you know what I mean? Like seals me up. Um, and what I saw here next was like right after that hole was made, this dragon of yours is now 
blowing fire at this pool. And it's causing this vibration again. There's something with vibration. It's causing this vibration, right? Because um, when when water when um, water molecules are heated up, they vibrate faster. There's something with speed and vibration. I'm not quite yet picking up on what that is, but um, so. <laughs> This vibration is causing this dolphin energy to leap out. It's like, not only is it escaping through the bottom, right, through this, um, through this punch hole, but it's also, like, escaping, like, leaping upwards. This is a really interesting... It's like it's escaping both ways. It's like the web is being obliterated, in a sense. So... And in this escape, right, there's this joyous... Because at the center of your reading is the play card. So it's like in this escape, there's this joyous, like, it's like a, re a rejoicing. A rejoicing of freedom. Because um, whatever energy this is, is, is not, it's not trapped anymore in this web. So, it's leaping out. <laughs> I mean, of course, all of this, all of this could be reversed. You know what I mean? Like the inner, like this could be happening to you, or you could be doing this. Um, it doesn't feel like this is happening with like something external, like another person or anything. This feels, it literally feels like you're trying to catch a sighting of like some type of elemental or fairy or, you know, elves, uh, something like that. Because there's a lot of imagery about like mythical beast. It's kind of like that show where you're like, um, like a Sasquatch show or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like the, where they go out and like set all these traps and stuff to try to like, find. they never find it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cause it, whatever doesn't want to be seen is not going to be seen. It's like, you have to create and establish a relationship for like both parties to be comfortable in order to fully witness, right? That's interesting because now this wants to come again through as a uh, magnifying glass, right? It's like the more that connection, this connection, this mystic, mystical connection with the, um, with the metaphysical or the elementals, like the more that that connection comes through and strengthens, the more you can see it. This is really interesting. I did not see this going this way. <laughs> Perhaps maybe that's like how you feel. So next what's happening is like, it's like, okay, so it's like you see now the hole, like you see the hole in your web and you're going straight back to work because you've done it so many times. It's very repetitious and you're weaving again. You're setting up another trap. I didn't want to say trap, but it wants to be trap. So it's going to be a trap today. Um, and it's like, oh, it escaped. That's okay. Time will tell, right? Especially with the hourglass that's on the, um, Black Widow's body. It's like, that's all right. You, you know, you fail once, like, let's just do it again. 
So you're going back in again and you're weaving this web all over again. And then it's like, because it's tiring, right? To have to weave a web just after you finished a web. Like, it's, it's um, like physically exhausting, right? And so with this, uh, with the boundaries card next, this came through as like you taking a long and much needed nap. And it's like in that nap with the weaver, I don't know, now I'm, now I'm starting to think of like dream weaving. Or like, um, like dream catchers. Now dream catcher imagery is coming to mind. So there's a sleeping thing going on. And then it's surrounded on both sides by the weaving, the weaver, and the ruler of swords. So it's like, it's like in this um, sleeping, in this nap, it's like there's some type of upgrade that's happening. An upgrade wants to come through. And there's all of this like vibration that I was talking about. And that makes me think of like, especially because we were talking about um, like dream leaving. I've noticed that when I do, when I go, when I personally go into outer body experiences, um, the first sign that I, that I feel as it's about to happen is my whole body vibrates. It almost feels like an earthquake inside my body. And then it like, as it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, then it's like a, and then I'm out. <laughs> That's kind of like what it feels like. Because it's, it's like there's some type of upgrade where you're going from, you're going from this Sovereign of Swords to this Ruler of Swords, where it's kind of like instead of setting a trap, I don't know. Where are we going with this? It's like the intentions of your trap are different now. It's not really a trap now, I kind of feel like. It's it's um because that vibration has increased. Like it doesn't have the same energy anymore. So it's like when you make this new web, it's it doesn't have this like um, like dark and scary like siren type of um, black widow energy anymore. Now what's happening is now it has this bee energy, which is really cool. Um, because bees, in a sense, like, they kind of have a web, right? They, they create, I guess their equivalent would be, like, the honeycomb, right? Because that is also their home, and it is also where they, uh, store food. So, and it, equivalent to the, to the spider energy, you know, the web is their home, and it's also where they catch food and store food. But it's like now the web that you have is not a web anymore. It's it's wanting to like shift and upgrade into this like honeycomb, a honeycomb energy. And bees talk about um, like multi-dimensional energy. It's like a, it's like a 5D energy. It's like this web that was being built is very, it feels very 3D. Whereas this 
with the ruler of swords feels more um, elevated, like in a higher realm. It's like instead of building your trap like out in the woods to catch fairies, it's like you're building the trap through your, and I don't want to say it's a trap. Now I don't, now I don't, now that kind of like repulses me a bit. It's, it's like, it's like you're shifting your gaze, like this gate, you know, like with binoculars. It's like your focus is different. It's like, it's like your fine focus was just like off a bit, but it's, it's in your, it's in your visual field. And so it's like now, that's interesting because what's happening next is the two of swords, not swords, it's the two of coins. That's interesting because the two of swords that I have has a blindfold over the eyes. And it's like that blindfold is being removed. And then these two coins are coming together. So it's like if... Okay, here we go. So it's like if when you're at the eye doctor, the opt... I don't know what they're called. Optologist? Ophthalmologist? I don't know. And they're like flicking the things like, okay, what do you see better? A or B? And they keep like flicking. It's like all of these lenses are coming together and it's like before when everything was blurry it's like now everything is starting to come into focus and as it comes into focus we're ending off your we're ending your reading with the wildling and it's like that's when you see it that's when you have your sighting right this always talks about like an x marks the spot thing, uh, X marks the spot, like an idea. So it's like whatever the X marks, right? That's the treasure. And so the treasure that you're searching for is the sighting. And with the wildling, it's, it's like, uh, <laughs> it's like, you're like, ah, oh! <laughs> It's like because your your focus is like now in the right position. It's like you're like <laughs> it feels really funny. It feels like not funny, but it's like surprising and exhilarating and like all the things. It's so cool. <laughs> and then what I saw, what I thought was really interesting was that at the base of these swords here. They kind of look like crabs and it's like you're now a crab and then all this water right it's like now you're fully equipped with this air energy it's like it's like now you've mastered this air energy and you you can see it now this is like seeing a fairy this is really cool that's awesome Oh my goodness. Okay, Cancer. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let the cards fly for your extended. So if this at all resonated with you, please join us in the extended and we'll go into, who knows, you know, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> we'll see what, uh, we'll see what uh, they want to say. And if not, that's quite all right. I will see you next time. Lots of love to my Cancers. Love you guys. Bye.